think? You confused? Was what? you so surprised? Yeah. Daddy, are we gonna go to winter fun now? Heck no. I just got done traveling for four days to get here to see you guys. Four days. It took me four days to get here on a plane. Wow. I took two helicopter rides and four plane rides to come see you, just to come see you. And Zoe and Xander and Jojo and Mommy and all the other Mommy. What? Ruby. I Yes, Michael. Are you happy Daddy's home? Oh, what's the matter with you? Go see him. I like your dress. You got my team on. Oh, yes, come here. Oh, turn this cape over. Jojo, oh. oh, who is that? <laughs> who is it? Are you wet? She had a worse right on a while ago. What do you think, huh? What do you think? You don't know what to think, huh? Was this Miss Holly's surprise? Yep. It was. Yeah. You happy? Are you happy? Yeah. Oh, you happy? Daddy, 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 Da
local. Uh, I just got back this morning from training, so caught her completely off guard. Um, matter of fact, it's a little bit past noon. My flight touched down at like 9.30. I just got back. That's so, pretty cool. Um, well, it's good that you came here. Caught her off guard. I see you. And Kay, I want you to go to that answer. Mess up your makeup, darling. We're going to dinner. I know. I said, hey, open the door for him. It took me so long to freaking get here. You don't even know. Oh, why is that? We were supposed to be here yesterday. We were supposed to be here yesterday. And finally tonight here, as you likely know, it is a tradition every New Year's, the Rose Parade and those beautiful floats. But today an image no one was expecting, not even a little boy who hadn't seen his father in nearly a year. Miriam Paz and her four-year-old son Eric had flown all the way back from Germany, back home to the States, to California. Mom and son living in Germany while dad is deployed to Afghanistan. They thought they'd won a contest to come home and the prize, a trip to the Rose Parade. What did you have to do to win? Uh, my husband just entered his name, I guess. I just got a call letting me know that we won. Uh, he is a soldier stationed in Afghanistan? Yes, he's in Afghanistan right now. Or so she thought. Her husband, Sergeant First Class Eric Paz, was right there at the parade, on the float, proudly wearing his uniform and making his way toward them. As mom and her four-year-old son were posing for a picture, they then turn around and that little four-year-old looks up, making his way over right into the arms of his father. So very lucky since this family's been together. It was a really great experience. I think the first thing I thought was, oh my Lord, I hope, I hope she's not gonna slap me for lying to her. And I, seeing our son's face, and, you know, how he reacted, and, you know, it, I was, really caught up in the moment. A family together again, just in time for the new year. They hadn't seen each other in seven months. Long-awaited reunion for a Minnesota soldier and the dog she rescued in Iraq. Their story touched people all around the world, and today, after months apart, Army Specialist Gwen Bieberg and her dog Ratchet are back together. Maggie Newland has their story from Fridley. It's a good story. A story of friendship forged in war, of separation and determination of overcoming obstacles. A wonderful story. Hey, Come on, come on. The story of a soldier and her dog began on the battlefields of Baghdad and reached across the world. I got a letter from a woman in Italy who wrote to me and said how deeply it had touched her, the story of Ratchet. Come here, baby. Ratchet was rescued from a pit of burning trash on Mother's Day and became Army Specialist Gwen Bieberg's best friend in Iraq. He was like my own little personal comfort. You know, just fuzzy little love that I could go to any time that I felt down or lonely. Not only was he therapeutic for her, you know, she was his lifeline, so to speak. 
Gwen couldn't bear to part with Ratchet when she left Iraq, but sending him home became a battle in itself. People in charge would not let him leave. Twice, she says, the army blocked her attempts to get Ratchet to Minnesota. But with the help of the SPCA and a website petition started by a friend, Ratchet's story gained international support. I thought it would get some attention. I didn't think it would get so much attention. And in October, on the third try, Ratchet made it to the United States to stay with Gwen's parents and wait for her. It's a great ending. And long after the camera lights stop flashing, they will simply be a woman and her dog back home in Minnesota. She's going back to school in September. She's already gotten accepted. Gwen wants to train Ratchet as a therapy dog. We'll go to schools, VAs, hospitals, anywhere where he can be of use to other people and spread his doggy love. It's just the next chapter. There's, there's good things ahead. Their story is far from over. Yeah, boy. In Fridley, Maggie Newman. And the Arizona Diamondbacks would like to wish Micah a very happy ninth birthday. And we also want to let you know that we have a special birthday surprise for you, Micah. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and please, please welcome, welcome back, back Micah's, Micah's dad, dad technical, technical Sergeant Micah Vickers, Vickers, who has served more than 10 years in the United, United States, States Air Force, Air Force and, is and is currently serving, serving a 15-month tour of duty overseas. overseas. Thank, you Thank you for your service. service. Welcome, welcome home, home and happy, happy birthday, birthday, Micah. Micah. This is on video, yeah. Where's our video camera? Uh, full of the balloon trip. Wait till you see the rat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say bye to see him. Yes. What? What are you going to see here? What?
Thank you. Thank you very, very much. I'm going to have a... Oh, they already got that. I just need a glass of water, Chuck. Look at that. One happy family there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might want to move to the other side. <laughs> move down that way. We're going to move down that way. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. All right, here's the water. Here's the tank. Right. Can you bring kids in here? I'm I'm shaking. I bet you would wonder she like to sit at a certain table. I bet you would wonder why they're running you way back here. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you would wonder where she's going next. She loves to sit on that side. Yeah, you kind of say let's not bring you No, I say, but why did he say you want to sit in my car? I just want to sit on the side. You know, like, um, um, you always choose where you're going to see it, and you say, you, you want to see it? Say, <laughs> why? Is that enough? Is that enough? Y'all happy? Everybody's happy? Yeah. Is he saying, like, gay? Okay. No. Okay. I think I turned it off, Mark. Okay. Hit the button again. Does that stop it from the video? Okay. Can you want to come on that side with Lamar, and I'll sit on this side?